the Brazilian Grand Prix over the past weekend proved to be a major setback for Mercedes, prompting a reassessment of their plans for 2024. The disappointment at Interlagos shattered Mercedes' hopes of securing their first win of the season, and using it as a springboard for improved winter development to challenge Red Bull in the upcoming year. The chances of realizing this plan appear bleak, especially in light of the post-race statements from both Lewis Hamilton and Toto Wolff. Following the Brazil race, Wolff conveyed to the media that it was his worst weekend with Mercedes in his 13-year tenure. This sentiment resonated with Hamilton, adding weight to the gravity of the situation. The repercussions of this disastrous weekend are significant. News has emerged regarding the team's reactions, and unfortunately, it paints a gloomy picture for the Silver Arrows in 2024. Wolf officially announced an overhaul of their approach for the W15 in the coming year, acknowledging that their current trajectory in car development is ineffective. The Interlagos Grand Prix underscored that performance in Austin and Mexico might be heavily track-specific. The dynamics within the team have shifted notably from Mexico to Brazil. Hamilton's initial optimism after improved showings in Austin and Mexico drastically reversed in Brazil. From expressing satisfaction with the car's performance, he pivoted to proclaiming Red Bull's uncontested dominance for the next two years, citing their superior understanding of the current generation of cars. In Brazil, Hamilton's only finishing Mercedes was over a minute behind the race-winning Red Bull, emphasizing the performance deficit facing the Silver Arrows. Their only recourse now is to focus on the development of the W15 and hope for a competitive car. The initially planned development direction for 2024 has been discarded, as the team believes a unique and spectacular approach is required during the winter to re-establish themselves at the forefront. Toto Wolff, commenting on the situation, stated, Fundamentally, we need a different car next year, and Sunday proved that is the right thing to do. There is something fundamentally wrong mechanically. It feels horrible for the whole team. It's not a rear wing, and it's not the car being slightly too high. We're talking about a difference of a millimeter or two, which does contribute to performance, but it doesn't fully explain the dismal performance over the entire weekend. The car's unpredictability, swinging from side to side, has led us to patch it up with temporary fixes. Hamilton faced disqualification in Austin due to excessive plank wear, a consequence of running the car lower. However, the decision to run the car higher in Brazil now suggests that running it lower in Austin was a significant factor in the car's impressive competitiveness. It's crystal clear that Mercedes is grappling with issues, lacking a car that can even come close to Red Bull's RB19. Lewis Hamilton, expressing his sentiments about the W14 after the Brazilian Grand Prix, mentioned counting the days until he can part ways with this car. This echoes his discontent with the W13 a year ago, and unfortunately, there seems to be little improvement or change. The British driver may be sensing the slipping away of his grasp on the eighth world title, evident in his recent comments. Despite potential post-race analysis and reflections, the car simply didn't perform well in Brazil. The Red Bull seems to be in a league of its own, possibly dominating for the next couple of years. These comments beg the question, what are Mercedes' plans for 2024 moving forward? The technical team at the Brackley factory has faced challenges, with frequent reshuffles, notably involving Mike Elliott. Initially, the technical director in 2023, he was then appointed chief technical officer, with James Allison leading car development. Elliott has now formally resigned or taken gardening leave, depending on interpretation. While some may view this as positive news for the Silver Arrows, attributing the flaws of the W13 and W14 to Elliott, Figures like Wolf, Russell, and Hamilton offer differing opinions, suggesting that the current situation is not solely due to one individual. Mercedes finds itself in a difficult position, with a series of seemingly incorrect decisions during the design phase. The Brazilian Grand Prix may only be the beginning of their challenges, with two more races in Las Vegas and Abu Dhabi that seem to favor the Ferrari package over the Mercedes one. On a circuit traditionally favored by Mercedes, Carlos of Ferrari managed to finish ahead of Hamilton, narrowing the points gap between Ferrari and Mercedes to just 20 points. With the upcoming race in Las Vegas, a low downforce circuit where the SF23 excels, Mercedes' chances of maintaining P2 in the constructors' standings are diminishing. Throughout the weekend, it appears that Mercedes is placing less emphasis on their championship position directing their full focus toward crafting a competitive machine for the 2024 season.
Despite this shift in priorities, questions arise about what Mercedes can do differently for 2024, considering their efforts to address the drawbacks of the initial W14 in Bahrain. Following the realization of issues, the team introduced a concept change in Monaco, followed by subsequent small tweaks and improvements. In contrast, McLaren has showcased a more dynamic approach to car development, unveiling three significant upgrade packages at Baku, Austria, and Singapore, propelling them from being among the slowest to regular podium contenders. The seven-time world champion, witnessing McLaren's improved performance, has consistently urged his team to look to the Woking Base squad for inspiration, encouraging them to adopt successful ideas for the development of the W15 next year. Despite holding second place in the constructors, Mercedes has struggled to maintain a consistently competitive second-fastest car. Labeling the W14 as having a fundamental flaw in its concept, the team acknowledges the need for comprehensive changes, including altering the chassis and addressing cockpit positioning issues. However, Toto Wolff suggests that the problems extend beyond these known issues, referring to an elusive X-factor behind their performance slump. The abrupt shift in pace from a quick and balanced car to a nightmare in Brazil has left the team bewildered. Wolf speculates the possibility of discovering mechanical issues in the car set up upon further analysis. Mercedes has officially committed to a brand new development direction, and only time will reveal if these changes yield successful results. The team faces the challenge of rebuilding confidence and making a comeback from their current low point. Individuals within Mercedes, driven by the desire to return to championship-winning glory, may step up to steer the team in the right direction. The crucial question remains, can Mercedes challenge Red Bull more frequently for race wins in 2024? The trajectory of W15 development during the upcoming winter is uncertain. I'm eager to hear your thoughts and perspectives, please share them in the comments section below. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel for notifications on our future uploads, ensuring you stay informed about the developments in the 2023 Formula 1 season.